<laughs> hey people, this is the Broken Puppet. Got another video for you today. This one's how to draw a sugar skull, deadlet skull, or Mexican skull, which ever way you want to put it is all the same thing. And that's the uh, kind of really nice ornate tattoo skulls. And that all little detail on like the face and stuff, little flabbits around the eyes and that. It's pretty cool, you know. Uh, step by step, so it teaches you everything you need to know. I talk you through every little bit. And that you see my videos, you know what to expect. If not, subscribe. And now I'm going to have plenty more to come. And that I've got no intention of stopping doing these videos, so there's always going to be regular new ones. And that I'm going to try to aim for like one or two a week. So yeah, subscribe to see plenty more like this if you like it. And that, but for now, yeah, just enjoy this one. And I will see you next time. Right. Okay, people, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a sugar skull, Mexican skull, or dead dead skull, whichever way you want to put it around, it's all the same thing. Basically, it's one of these, you know, they're the really nice kind of, you know, decorative ones, and that works perfect as a tattoo and all that sort of stuff, plus it just generally looks quite nice. Yeah, so if you join up here, like your basic frame, what you want to do, big circle, like a square on the bottom bit of the jaw. So if you imagine what a circle is, you know, past the halfway bit at the bottom, nice square. Two circles on the corner of the square, it's going to make the cheekbones. Two circles, roughly, for the eyes, and a circle for the nose. Simples. Right. And then, if I can find me a bloody pencil, there we go. Or should I just go straight to the pen? I'll go straight to the pen, it's easier for you guys to see. Right. First off, I'm going to start off with the nose. Now, why? Because it's just generally a good center point, because you want it to be very parallel. So from the nose, you can work out where you want everything on either, on either side. Rather, one second, am I going to sneeze? No, I'm not. Right. For the nose, you can generally do a bunch of different ways. And that, uh, like in this one, see here, you got like the curve shape, and I did this like a little arrow bit in the middle. And that, you could leave that bit out and do like an upside down love heart shape. You could do like an ace of spades. Or something like that. For this one, I'm going to go for. Yeah, I'm going to go for the spade. I quite like the spade. Right, so, for the spade, you basically want like a curve this way, up like that, same on the other side. So, start at the bottom. Now, you don't want to go completely into the middle because you've got to remember doing a little bottom bit. Bring the curve around. Up. To a point. Like that. Do the same thing the other side. Go around. Up. To a point. Simple. From the bottom, just bring it up. Bring it across. Bring it up. Simple as that. And that. Once you've got that done, you can roughly work out where you want the eyes. Now, you don't have to do this, but generally with sugar skulls, I like to get my eyes perfect circles. They can be a bit annoying to draw sometimes, so there's no harm in bringing one of these in. You can get these at any typical kind of art store, they're just like a bunch of different size circles. And that's so if we just. Yeah, say this size. And that. You can do them like any kind of size you want, but you generally want it to be fairly big. And generally, most of the time, you're on the same size. So if we say just do one about this size, see, one like that, and then do the same size, which was, was it that one or was it that one? Was it that one? I think it was that one. Yeah, pretty much the same place the other side, so if you imagine that comes out about there, come out to about, yeah. And now I've got those two in place, so I'm just going to do like a big circle around the outside. Don't have to do this, I just like to do this. Actually, should I have done the last one? Now for this one I'll leave it, but you see on this one, see I've done the circle, then I've done the big circle, giving like, you know, the frame to the eyes. This one I'll show you a different kind of eyes, so you've got two different eyes you can see. Right, 
And then around the eyes, I'm going to do like a flower pattern. So I'm just going to do like a sort of semicircles. So like that. See so like that. We're going the whole way around. Just like that. Simple. And now, now for this, I'm going to. Uh, Shall I jump to this bit? No, I won't jump to this bit just yet. I'll show you the next bit. Uh, if you imagine like a line coming straight down the nose bit, so if you imagine dead centre here, from the top down the middle. When you get to the middle of the nose, around here, you want to start doing uh, kind of like oval shapes. Now, so come a bit far down. See one like that. Then do one the other side. And just carry on these going outwards for the teeth. You can keep them the same size, or you can get smaller. You can go right to the very edge, or stop beforehand. These ones are going to have going slightly smaller. Going to the edge. So one, two, three, four. So do four this side. And very simply, line straight through the middle. Like that. Bingo. One of the bits I like to do, you can do this two ways. You see like around here, see I've got the outline around the tooth? So you basically just follow the same shape, but just not touching, like dipping in each tooth bit. This one I'm going to do a similar one, but not quite the same. I'm going to go from the edge of the tooth, go up, and join it back up again. You see like those two? So it's like a little loop just over the top. Just like that. And now, this bit you can really kind of vary up. I'm going to teach you how to do the cheekbones. You can do these any sort of way you want. It's like here. Here I bring this line going out and curling back in. So it makes like a little point going up. And then I bring the cheekbone curved around and they're going around the eye. This one I'm going to do similar, but I'm going to have it slightly different. So, yeah, for this one I'm just going to go like an up curve, always to the end point, curve them down, and going back up, like that. And then from the bottom bit, actually, when we've done this little curve bit, I'll go halfway through that line, curve outwards. Bring your semicircle around. It's about there for now. And that, I'll show you why in a minute. And then bring this line down from the jaw, so under that bit again. Get into here. And once you get here, I want you to curve it. And this one, I'm going to do like a double chin. I've done a single chin on my last one, so I'm going to do like a double chin for this. And I flick that bit there. Make a little line underneath. Flip it there, and that'll carry on to the other side. And that, but yeah, I'm gonna do similar like I've done on this side. You see the, the line, you carry this up, and you got around that eye. This one, I'm gonna go a little bit closer, a little bit further around this time. Kind of like that, almost giving it almost a frown. And that. Then from here, I'm going to bring out my curve. Now my original sketch for the top of the skull, you see now I've evened it out, I realised my circle wasn't perfect. So I'm going to straighten that out. I'm going to bring this up to about here. Curve that around. And get that equal. Then I'm going to go around it. I 
only going to go halfway for now. I want to make sure that's perfectly equal once I put on this side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror, actually, uh, before we do this, little line here, curving up, and line next to it going just outwards, just like that. That brings the uh, inside bit behind the eye. I'm going to mirror this outline the exact same way on the other side. So I'm going to bring this out here. And now we have the basic sort of shape for it. At this point I'm quickly going to put like a really thick black outline around the edge of this. You'll see why once it's done. There we go. Just kind of makes it pop out a little bit. At this point I'm just going to rub out that basic sketch work I've done. Except for that centre line. So I want to know the exact centre when I get to the top. I can tell this by eyesight but I know a lot of people might be a bit hesitant so try and keep that line down the middle of it. Just like that. At this point you can just black in that nose if you want. You can put some little detail bits in, like some bits on the inside, but generally I'm just going to black this in. There we go. Now I would do. You can do the same with the eyes. You can black them in. But I always like putting something in the eyes. It's a personal preference, you don't have to. Like on this one, you know, I put, you know, like a, the white bits in the eyes. This one, I'm going to put old school diamonds in the eyes. You can put candles. Like the old uh, tutorial I showed you about this one. Always looks pretty cool. But now for this, I'm going to put diamonds. Now diamonds are really easy to draw. Just draw a line going across. Like that. Just a little bit above the middle line of the eye. Then draw a line going down the corner. A line going. I'm not doing this in now, I'll do that in pen first. If you want to sketch this out in pencil first, you can. I'm just going to go straight in the pen. On pen. That's what I was using. Here we go. Super five. It's like I said, line across. Line going down, a line from about this point, and then opposite, so the same lines going the other way. From the top, little triangle, meet up on the line, triangle, meet up on the line, triangle, meet up on the line. Little curved line at the top. Very easy, very basic. You can do more complicated ones, but this one will do for now. And then what I do is I black around the edge. There we go. Everyone keeps asking me, but the uh, pens I use are uh, Trier markers. And that are really cool because you get the paint tip, bowl tip, and you got a thin tip. Three tips in one. Really good colours, blend really easy, perfect pens. And that, that's Tria, T R I A. You can use Pro Tip or other stuff as well. They're pretty cool. Right, and uh, back onto this. Now, a number of different pattern bits. <coughs> oh, yeah, voice going there. A number of different pattern bits you can use here. You can do like a really ornate kind of circular bit on the heads. You can do like a web. You can do flowers, uh, cross bits and bobs, and that like little fancy little sort of swirls. But I'm just going to teach you a couple here that I like to use quite often. And now for this one, I'm going to use like a rose on the chin here, and I'm going to have a spider web come down from the top. So, line bit at the top coming down there, 
just slightly off of that line. Another line coming that way, just slightly off of that one coming that way. And you can dock another one there if you want. Do the exact same going the other side. Why am I doing this in bloody pencil first? So yeah, line up, line down, line down, line down, line up, line down, line down. So it goes a bit further out that one. And that one too. Once you got that, start from the edge. And that bring a curve going upwards and join up on the end of the other line. Do that again to there. Do that again to there. Again to the top of the skull. Do the same thing the other side. No. It's near enough even. Not perfect, but if you sketch out first, you can get perfect. I'm just quickly showing you. And now here you can kind of randomize these up a bit. So if we say do like a curve here, so you're starting off that line and curving there. Then another one here going about even. So starting about the same kind of point you finish. One starting off halfway off the line. Another random one. Another one curving very longly. I'm going the opposite way. And then just randomize those kind of curves the whole way through it. So it's like a spider web on the head. And that. Uh, another one you can do, which I like to do, I like put like a teardrop underneath the eye. Do one, you could do two or three. And now for this one, I'm just going to do the one each. I'm going to put a little circle next to it. You side. Like that. Now I'm going to make like a kind of fierce looking eyebrow kind of shape, so this one's going to start with a curve, going up and around, coming up here, and finishing this way, kind of like that, see, then you want to do the same thing going the other way, so start here, Like that. Just kind of follows the direction of the eyebrow, so this one's kind of frowning almost. A lot of people put like, you know, like sort of flower bits coming out, you know, the edge here. But I always like to do like, you know, the crack kind of shape, so... Bring like, just like a fancy kind of swirl like that. Do the same on the other side. And do like a few little, maybe black little hole bits on the inside. So just like black kind of dots. Different sizes. Smudge that one there. That one there. Right. Now it's like a on the cheekbones again. Same sort of thing. This time I done like almost cherry blossom kind of style ones here. On this cheek, I'm going to uh, put some nice sort of fancy kind of shape again. So for this one, I'm going to bring up the edge to a curly point. Bring that around like that. See, so swell, and then follow the swell back around, but going a bit wider. And I'm going to have the same thing, but going the opposite way here. Joining up. That's fancy swell. Go in there. Having that line join up there. Then I'm going to put like a little ball shape. It's really that little gap bit on the inside. And then I'm going to put. Should I put it here? I've got almost like a little kind of blood in, uh, blooding, budding, rather flower kind of shape. So for this, you just want like a little overturn leaf bit. Bring that in. I like that. You can change it up. You do it any how you want. And that. Then I'm going to put like another little fancy kind of swirls around this one. And 
and the one going this way, one going a bit lower, joining up in the middle. Come like that. And now for the centre bit and the eye bit here, I'm going to do one big shape, one big circle, and also come off the top of it, a little one come off the side, one off the other side. And just have a little kind of swell bit, just like that. It's just like a centre detail, you can do that any kind of way you want. You can put like a cross or something there if you wanted. If you want something a bit more different. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And here I'm just going to have almost like a kind of shooting kind of tip going upwards. So you measure start to a point, little curve, kind of shape like that. Second one just next to it, but a little bit smaller. And the same going the other side here. So one there. One there. I'm just going to do like a little rose bit at the bottom and then just put like a nice little kind of swell kind of flip back on itself suck a bit over the top kind of like that put this curving down have another curve going around and that I mean to more, do a more detailed one just look at my uh, rose tutorial but any basic kind of standard rose you could possibly do could work here you know, it's only a small area, so you can't put too much detail in. But you basically want it so it makes almost like a kind of ball shape, so it comes around there, and then do two nice kind of leaf bits off the side. So one going that way. One going that way. And a little line in the middle. In that. Then again, I'm just going to bring like a nice kind of swirly line going this way, come up from the top bit, coming down, curving like that. Same from this side. Kind of like that. Yeah, and that basically does that, the outline. That. So get your rubber, just rub over any kind of you know pencil marks you've done to this point. Always want to rub your pencil lines out before you colour it. And that because sometimes if you colour it, you see the pencil line underneath, and at that point you cannot rub it out. So good little tip there. Always colour before. And that now I've done the last one. Do, 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 do. Blue. So this one I'm going to do green. A nice evil green. Right. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to colour all the basic bit in this green colour. I'm going to leave a little line between the outside. And any time I come to like a line, I'm not going to touch the line. I'm just going to kind of leave a little white gap. So around this skull bit, just here. The only time I'm going to touch the line, and that's where it's like a bit where it's kind of going under. See, like here, this little line is going over this bit, so it's tucking underneath. So that's when I walk up to the line. Then with a bit, I won't. 
That's a bit of will. The uh, swirly lines I don't count because they're just uh, lines in it. So them I just go straight over. The web I'm going to leave empty for now because I'm going to colour that in a different colour I think. But most of this I just make up as I go along generally. You want to colour this in like you know in a few different colours so I'd say about three four colours. Not too many not too few. Now if you don't just say two colours I think it would be a few too little. You just want to look quiet. So try to choose about three four colours. So like if you imagine like the background colour you know one colour. And then the detail colour you know like a choice of three different colour bits. Right, once you've got the base colouring in, I'm just going to put some darker shades in. So I'm just switching up to a darker green. And these are going to be all the bits that are kind of close to the edge and the bits that are kind of under, you know, certain lines. And that. The easy way to do this is just kind of flip the shading out. And then what we're going to do is going to go over again with the lighter colour to blend it out. You can do this with pencils, paints, water paints markers like I'm using it doesn't really make a difference what medium you're using and that just got to make sure you use it the right kind of way like the markers you can kind of flick them out you know water paints you want to put the color on first and then get your brush like you know really kind of sort of clean and then kind of blend it out with just water and that if you use water paints that is Pencils, well, we'll just use pencils anyhow, I guess. No really special technique for pencils. Right, that's the green done. Now I'm going to put in some blue. Yeah, I'm going to do my diamonds blue. I always like to, I like to do my diamonds blue. Gonna flick down shading on that bit, flick up on the middle one, flick down on that one, flick down on the top, flick up in the middle, flick down on the top, flick down in the middle, flick down on the top. Do the same on the other side. And then what else can I do? Blue. I'll do a couple of like you know the I'll do the teardrop blue. I'm gonna leave a little white bit in the teardrop blue so it makes like a little shine. See so kinda of like that. And then just like on a few little random bits like these little bubble bits. I'm gonna make sure my colour is symmetric, so whatever I colour on this side, I'm gonna colour the same on this side. And that. I might end up colouring the teeth in blue actually. Yeah, I'm gonna colour teeth in blue. Now I've done that, I'm going to switch up to, uh, if I can find it, my orange. It's me yellow, me blue, there's me orange. Me orange. Now I'm going to colour in these uh, sort of circular bits on the outside orange. These I'm just going to colour in solid. bit at the bottom, uh, the overturns on the leaves, the overturns on the leaves, the overturns on the rows, and then a little bit under each tooth. Then I'm going to hit it with some red. Some red that works. Getting low on these pens. The pens do last a long time, I just use them all the time. Da, 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 
do give me a black now the black what I'm going to do on the web every bit on the uh, left hand side I'm going to flick up I'm not going to touch the edge you know, like you know, closest to the top of the web, you know, the bottom, bottom bit of the web. So, I'll show on a couple so you see what I mean. See, let's see how I'm colouring up to the line. But I'm not touching that line. You see? Do it again over here so you can see what I mean. Cutting up to that line, but I'm not touching that line. Do the same underneath. I'm only colouring about halfway. See the other half I'm gonna go in with like a grey and I'm gonna go over that with a colour because I wanna get like a nice dark web. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to go over that in red. It's completely over the top. Okay, and you can do this any colour you want. I just happen to like red. I'm not quite done yet. Two more things. Ugh, really wish to now. I'm gonna use yeah. I'm gonna use pink and yellow for this. Did I use pink or yellow on this one? Yeah, I did. Um, in that case, I'll use pink and the baby blue. I think. Gosh, one blue. Yeah. 
But basically, you know the white edge left around the outside? I'm going to go over the, all the ones on this side in pink, you know, this way, and all the ones on this side in uh, blue. Now, you can do this with any colour you want. You can do this with a lighter colour. As long as it's not, it is a nice light colour. You know, you could use blue, yellow. If I didn't have a lot of red in it, I might use a red. But red, red's probably about dark, so I'll go, you know, blue. If, if it weren't green, I might use like a really kind of bold, light green colour. side and this is just like you know kind of highlight sort of thing you know if you flat if you had, as if you had like a yellow light coming that way and a pink light coming the other way in a drawing you don't particularly need to do this but in a tattoo it can really kind of complete it sometimes you know if the whole thing is solid rather than having little white gaps sometimes the white gaps look good sometimes they don't really all depends yeah, you see, I mean, that's like a basic kind of skull. You can always put stuff on the outside, you know, like I've done on here. You know, finish it off, you can put some big roses, some web. You know, you can do a bit of like a banner or something. You know, some diamonds, old school bits. Just put some other little bits. You can do what I have been doing, like a lot of my pictures. Just one of the ways I like to finish mine off, the black blobs. No, anything for the background really. And I can do some fire, some lights. But yeah, that's the basics. That is how to draw a sugar skull. And that. You got like a uh, side ones. If you look at like my other tutorial, you know the one I've done this on. You can do the same kind of skull, this shape, but decorate it with the same kind of things you've done on here. And that, if I can find an earlier one I've done that was quite similar to that. I've done this one ages back, it's definitely in there somewhere though. There, one second. Yeah, you see like here, you know, like a slight angle. And that, you know, the angle is always pretty cool, but this is pretty much the traditional way of drawing them. You know, and that's what I thought I'd teach you today. But yeah, you can combine this with the other skull I've done, which is the previous video. So if you click on the uh, previous link over there, it'll take you to the... Uh, Oh, excuse me, the other skull video. And you can learn from that. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Broken Puppet. And I will see you next time, in which I will probably do a Japanese kind of flower tutorial. So keep an eye out for that. See you next time.